Okay, welcome back to the unemployed slash author slash self-publishing diaries. My name is Sheena Peril. I am an author and knitwear designer from the Pacific Northwest, and I have been temping for the last year and a half, almost two years, since I got laid off during the pandemic. Um, I just finished up my last temping assignment, so now we're going whole hog on the author writing aspect of things, since I have the time and the space that I can dedicate to it. Um, so currently, where we are right now, my next book comes out on April 22nd. This is called Midnight Radio, and it's a collection of short stories, but they're interconnected and they read like a novel. So like each short story is a chapter. And it is about three neurodivergent teens who discover that they have all been listening to the same uh, late night horror radio show. This is set in the 1950s, I should probably mention that. Um, but they discover that they've all been listening to the same midnight horror radio show, but they're the only ones in town that knows it exists. And once they discover that the three of them who are very different all have this in common, then strange things begin to happen in town. And I pulled in a lot of mythos from like urban legends and like small town gothic and cryptids. Mothman makes an appearance, which my favorite cryptid. So it's a lot of fun. It starts out lighter horror and then it goes a little bit darker. So if you're a fan of things like Call of Cthulhu, HP Lovecraft, anything to do with the uncanny, unusual supernatural, then this book will be right up your alley. I have the book completely drafted. Um, I just did what I'm hoping is my final uh, structural edit and I'm, I'm losing the word here, um, developmental, my final developmental edit, I hope, but there's still something that I'm not sure about. And that is the villain. I, I didn't explicitly state who the villain is or what their motivations are, though it's heavily hinted at throughout the book. So I'm not sure if I should explicitly state it or leave it kind of ambiguous and questionable and uncanny and leave those threads unbound because especially if you are reading like the works of H.P. Lovecraft, then not everything gets explained. Not everything is wrapped up tidily. So I'm not sure if I want to leave it like that or if I want to go in and explicitly state things or if that's going to be too heavy handed, I can't decide. Um, my patrons already got to read this, but um, my Patreon is now defunct. I no longer have a Patreon. Um, if you were a patron and you happened to listen to or happen to read Midnight Radio, um, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'd be curious. So um, for this vlog, I don't know when I'm going back to work. Um, I haven't heard anything from the temp agency. The last I heard, they just, they don't have anything. They're not getting any clients right now. So that leaves me with a whole lot of uncertainty because if I don't get an income stream going soon, then we're not going to be able to make rent. We're going to be okay for the month of March, but going into April, it starts to get really, really dicey. So... I'm focusing more on promotion this month than I am on writing. Um, and some of the things that I want to get done in this vlog is write my March blog posts. Uh, I need to film some reels and just like promotional stuff that I can post on my social media to promote Midnight Radio and also my backlist. I have a backlist of over 10 books, so if you would like to check that out, please see the links down below. Um, and I also, this weekend, um, so my last day was Friday, we've got Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. Uh, 
obviously. That's the way weeks work. So I am taking this weekend to get my space sorted out and do a bunch of like cleaning and housework and stuff that got ignored because my last two weeks my temp job just got unexpectedly stressful. So we're going to do that. And then Monday, I'm starting my new work week as full-time author mode. Um, now I am setting my work week to match up with my wife's. She gets Thursdays and Fridays off at her job. So that's what I'll be doing to match her schedule. So I have my list of things that I want to get done this weekend. And this is mostly like cleaning household stuff. But I do want to plan out what my next several videos are going to be. And I also need to send out an email to the beta readers who have been reading um, the Cozy Mystery that I've been working on. This is the same one that I was working on back for National Novel Writing Month. And then um, I have an editing task that I need to do for somebody else. This was a client who got back to me and asked me to do one additional thing for formatting her book. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. But I need to Google how to do it because Microsoft Word is not behaving itself. So let's go ahead and get that done. Oh, I need to put in my hours for my last week at work. Um, but this is the list and let's get to it. Okay, so I finished up with the editing and the emails and the stuff that I needed to get done. So I imported the footage from my last vlog that's ready to edit now. But it's kind of chilly in here. I went and got my hoodie. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of get cozy and watch some TV for a little while, work on my knitting projects. And then uh, we'll get back to the vid video editing in like an hour because I have some stuff that needs to charge, including this camera. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, good morning. Took a shower, obviously. Uh, we have the wind howling across the moors this morning. So there might be a little bit of background noise. I am trying to get my head together and figure out what I want to do today. I still have like housework stuff that really needs to be the priority, but I also realized last night that tomorrow, my like first day of work, um, I have to run errands in the morning, which is going to cut into the writing time or like business of writing time. Um, and I have to do it tomorrow because the places I need to go aren't open today. Hi, quid. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to work on today, what my top priorities are. I need to go back and look at my lists. I have lists upon lists of things that I want to get done. But I think that the first thing I want to do is I want to clean up this. So I have a rather small desk here and I want to clean up my secretary so that way I can treat it as like an L-shaped desk and have some stuff over here. Also, I really want to make a pot of tea and 
I don't have a place to put it other than right here. So this needs to get cleaned up. I have a rough idea of where this stuff is going to get moved to. And then we'll have the computer accessible and I might move that. That tray is just like decorative stuff that has no other place they can live. And it's in a basket so that my cats don't knock it off my desk. So I can move that basket out of the way momentarily so that I can work and have a notebook next to me. Um, so I think that is where I'm going to start. We have some howling winds and it makes me wish that I had a good gothic novel to work on, um, like something from Mrs. Andrews world maybe, or, um, Ooh, it would be the perfect atmosphere to work on the Gothic Ladies Literary Society. That one is a mess though. That one needs so much work. I need to hire a developmental editor for it, but um, obviously I don't have money for developmental editors right now. Um, anyway, um, I need to get back to my lists, figure out what I'm doing, what my priorities are today, and then start cleaning. Good morning. It is Wednesday and, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't spoken much yet this morning. Um, so Monday was kind of a loss. I got some work done on Sunday, but I was mostly taking that day off. Monday I had to run errands in the morning and that took longer than I expected. I had to get some work done on the car and then we met a friend for dinner. So I just ended up being busy all day. Um, yesterday I did get some admin stuff done, which was great. I did the front and back matter for Midnight Radio, so that's taken care of. Um, I'm probably going to start the formatting for it this weekend. Um, I wanted to give it a little bit more time to rest, just so when I'm doing the format, I can, formatting, I can look at it with fresh eyes and, uh, I'm more likely to find errors or stuff that's awkward at that point. Um, I still haven't decided how I'm going to handle the ending. I'm going to reread it again and then try to decide and see if that is something that needs more foreshadowing or more clarification. Um, I just haven't really decided. So. Today is mostly set aside for, excuse me. So today I mostly plan to work on like marketing type stuff, which means making social media posts. Unfortunately, I am really bad at social media and I don't know what to post. So I think what I'm gonna do is go through some of my older YouTube videos and cut out some clips from those that I can use to make YouTube shorts and Instagram reels. Um, other thing that I wanna work on is I need to do some research this afternoon for some blog posts and for the podcast. My true crime podcast, The Ghosts of Highway 16, is currently on hold. We're in the gap between seasons one and season two. So I want to use this time to work ahead on season two. That way I'm not missing any post dates, which unfortunately I did have some trouble with towards the end of season one. So I'm going to work on those. I've got a little bit of chores that I need to, need to do in between. I have some wet laundry in the washer that needs to be switched over. Um, but let me show you what I have set up for myself to keep me organized. Okay, so this is my standard planner. And what I've done is I've given myself a schedule for the week and I've broken it down for each day because I know that I like to have a routine and do the same types of tasks in the same order, but I don't like doing the exact same thing and having it being super repetitive. So today is Wednesday, so we're down here. And so this morning I have it blocked off for like video and photo type stuff, lunch break, and then doing like marketing and research, and then writing and editing. And then over here, I have the specific tasks that I want to do. So um, I'm updating my vlog right now. 
and then I need to take some project photos, progress photos, and um, then I'm going to work on my posts. I need to find a new post scheduler. And then um, I'm trying to read more. So while I'm eating lunch, I'm going to read and then do some dishes after lunch. And then these are my research tasks, my writing and editing task. And then because Thursday, I'm, Thursday and Friday are my new weekends to match up with Ash's schedule. These are just some tasks I want to get done tomorrow. And then the task menu that you saw behind that notebook, those are the lists of different individual tasks underneath each category. So like if I'm not feeling like I can film today, or if I have it scheduled as a podcast filming day, but I'm not ready to film a podcast, then I can go back to my list of uh, like YouTube video, social media tasks and pick something else to work on. So I'm still being productive. So that is how I'm staying organized for this. And I'm just treating my unemployment, like marketing my books and taking care of the house are my job along with finding new employment. So those are my three main goals. And that's how I have things set up. Um, and the reason you probably didn't see job hunting much on that list is because I tend to do that earlier in the week. So I'll do it uh, Saturday as like a catch up type thing. And then um, our, the unemployment week starts on Sunday. So I tend to do most of that work on Sunday and Monday. That way I just have it done and it's out of the way for the week and I don't forget about it. Okay, so it is a little after 11, 11.15, and I got some of my marketing stuff done. Um, I was able to turn one of my YouTube videos into a series of clips that I can post on Instagram that went up earlier. Um, I tried doing a second video, but it just, it wasn't coming together the way that I wanted it to. It wasn't a good candidate for that process. And then, um, did some posting on threads, updated my social media tracker, which this notebook right here is all unemployment stuff. I've showed it to you guys before and I have three pages on here so far. One is places where I can look for jobs, specific companies as well as job boards. And then I've also got my promo schedule. So I remember to do my social media and stuff every day. And then I've also got the just regular job application tracking that I have to do for unemployment. But the light in here is really bad today. It's kind of storming outside. It's very overcast. You might be able to hear the wind in the background. Um, so I'm just going to go back over to my notebook and go over to my marketing stuff. So these are all marketing tasks that I can choose from when uh, like I'm either not able to do the tasks that I had initially assigned to myself for that day or if I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to go through that list and let's see. I think I'm going to work on the landing pages for my mailing lists and setting up new freebies for those. So um, I have two mailing lists. One of them is just like a general mailing list. It goes out every month and just gives you updates on what's going on. If you're not following me on social media or not following my website, um, there's links to all of my videos. There's announcements on when I have new material coming out, all of that good stuff. And then the second one is for my ARC readers. And if you're not familiar, an ARC reader or an ARC uh, reader gets advanced reader copies. And so when you have a book coming out, the ARC readers get it first, usually like a month or two before the book comes out. That way they can review it on their website or put it 
on Goodreads or Amazon or something. And that way, when your book debuts, you've already got like five star, or whatever star ratings on your book to help it sell better and go to the top of the algorithm. Now, I'm not doing an ARC release for Midnight Radio. And the reason for that is this was something that went up on my Patreon. It's a series of short stories, so it's a slightly different format from what I normally do. And also, just with my health and everything, I didn't think that I could have it in place for early enough to make it worthwhile. Um, but we've still got more than a month before the book comes out, so... I might go ahead and do that anyway. I might. Um, but first I need to update the landing pages for those. Um, it's been a while since I've done that, so it's probably outdated. And also just, it, it's, it's not great. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at marketing. And it's horrible because I've taken marketing classes before, I took graphic design classes, but I am so bad at it. I have absolutely no talent for either of them. So um, yeah, if you know anything about marketing or have good free resources that could help me out, go ahead and leave them down below because I've been going through the YouTube videos and the books and everything. And the thing with that I struggle with is I need ideas of specific things that I can do because a lot of those just give you like a general, this applies to all things. And that, that doesn't work for me because I have trouble applying it to my books. Um, and one thing that I need to do is reread all of them and find quotes and things that I can turn into Instagram posts or social posts. Um, so what I might do when I'm done with the landing pages is go read so that I can highlight stuff. Um, okay, so we've got that planned out, so let's get to work. Okay, so it is Saturday morning. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog here since I'm technically starting what for me is a new work week. Um, so over the last couple of days, I intended to take a couple days off and use this as a weekend, which was so nice. Um, working my full-time job in an office, it's so hard to like get stuff done. And being home for those two days and... I had nothing to do. It was so weird. Um, I did end up doing research though, which was unintentional. Um, I came across a couple of sources online that I wanted to dig into. I have a few more that I want to follow up on. Um, my library reserve for the heroine's journey also came back in. So I was able to finish that audiobook and finish taking notes on it. So I did get a lot done <laughs> over my weekend and did a lot of background research and marketing and stuff. I found a marketing course that I wanna take that's free. So um, that is something that I'm gonna to try to fit in this week. Uh, it might end up getting pushed the weekend. I'm not sure yet because I have a lot that I wanna get done this week. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here for this week. I'm getting ready to sit down to film two more videos and we'll start a new vlog with those. So until next time, I hope that you stay safe, stay healthy, and that you have something soft and fluffy to cuddle with. And don't forget to check out my new book, Midnight Radio, which is available for pre-order right now on Amazon, and you will find links and information down below. Ciao!